Hey guys, it's Landon with Redefined Horizons. And what I want to do in this video is show you how you can set up a job GIS project for QGIS. For, this is for a large uh, rural boundary survey that we're doing. So we're doing some work for one of our local counties up in Sierra Nevada foothills. It's actually my, my business partner. Uh, it's his project. Uh, so I told my business partner, Danny, that I would help him get this set up. And I just wanted to record this video so other folks in my office could on my team could watch it. And maybe some of you guys out there can, can learn from it. So we just want to set up a basic GIS uh, to help with uh, some navigation and uh, tracking, you know, which corners we've searched for and found. Just some basic things. Basic kind of project management, data management things. So I have some data uh, downloaded and imported here, but it needs to get organized and styled. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show you. The only thing I don't have imported yet is the survey points. So I will I'll do that and show you that. Um, and this, this may end up being more than one video, which is okay. So let me explain what I have in here. So I have um, a couple raster data sets. So I have the USDA NAEP imagery. Um, I'm not sure what year it is. I think it's it's like one foot or one and a half foot. Maybe it's two foot. I don't know, but it, it's it's um, the resolution is better than a meter. Um, so I have that. Though, though that's the, kind of the dark aerial images here. Um, then I have the other raster data set. As I have the four service uh, USGS topo maps. They called four uh, FS topo. So you can see these, they're like quad maps, uh, but they've got some specific forest service data on them. And then I just have the county parcel layer loaded, uh, loaded here. So let me show you real quick where to download that data. I didn't want to make you guys wait for the actual download, but so uh, I just went to Earth, USGS Earth Explorer to get the NAEP data. Uh, looks like this was done in 2022. And it is uh, 0.6 of a meter. So that's probably two foot imagery. Um, and then if you just Google for service quad maps, you'll get to the FS topo page and they've got a little uh, map locator uh, and a um, web app you can use. So this will, nope, that's not the one I wanted. Sorry, we want map locator and downloader nope that's not what I want either hmm oh right here so let's click that link this will pull up the viewer you can open the viewer here now sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't for the actual download so if it doesn't work you have to pull up this list here and you can get it this is your uh, latitude and longitude first two digits is latitude last three digits is longitude then you go in there and you can download them by name if you can't get the download on the viewer to work so that's where I got the uh, the four service quads, um, and then I used Earth Explorer to get the USDA NAEP imagery. Okay, and then we just downloaded the parcels data from Tuolumne County. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to organize the raster data and then style the parcel data a little bit before I bring in the survey points. So in my layers panel here, what I'm going to do is I am going to say... Let's see here. I want to add a folder, a group. They call it a group. So I'm going to add a group, and I'm going to just call this FS Topo Maps. Okay, and then I'm going to grab all of the four service Topo Maps, and I'm going to drag them into that folder. Okay, and I got one that went in the wrong way. Okay, what that allows you to do now is you can turn those off and on as a group. It looks like I forgot one. So that's, that's pretty handy. You can turn those on and off as a group now rather than have having to click each layer. I'm going to add another one and I just call this USDA NAEP 2022 two foot and then I'll grab these USDA NAEP images and drop those in there. So this is a little uh, this is a little cleaner now right now you can see that, that it's going to control your the order in the layer panel here. Oh, whoop, that is not what I wanted to do uh, the or, order in the layer panel uh, controls your display order, and I probably want my NAEP imagery on top. 
Okay, so we've got that raster data organized a little bit. Now I want to just go in and uh, style this uh, parcel data a little bit. By the way, this is one of the mineral surveys we've been working on. So we're going to uh, just come in here and go to the layer properties. And um, I've got a transparent fill there, but I don't love the color. I'm going to make it a little more purplish. And then I want to give it a... Uh, I also want to give it a, um, I wanted to give it a, um, an outline. I don't see where, let's see here. Can we do, nope, I don't want to add a fill. Here we go. I want to add a stroke. So I'm going to say, let's make it three pixels. And we'll just do solid black for now. Okay, so that's a little better. Those uh, parcel lines stand out a, a little better. I don't think they're black, though. I think I got a transparency on those. I like to have mine rounded. Uh, let's see. So I think I had a little... No, it doesn't have a transparency on it. Oh, it's because it's not black. All right, so now they're black. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a label, just a single label. And I want to label uh, the APN. And we like to use doses here. And I'll say, let's go bold. I know 10 is a little small. I'm going to do 16. And I like to put a little buffer around mine. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's do a buffer in pixels of three. All right, so I like that. So now I've got the APN showing up um, and that the parcels have a transparent fill. Okay, so that works pretty slick. All right, so I'm basically ready now. I've got this set up. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I've got this set up the way I want. What I wanna do next is bring in my survey points. We're gonna do that in two we're going to create two layers we're going to create a control layer and a, a, a property corner monument layer so i'm going to do that in a separate video um, so stay tuned for part two we'll uh, we'll import our survey points and style them